All right, everybody. I wanted to make this video because for a long time, and I'm talking about a long time, I have been trying to run Node.js on a domain on my dedicated server. <clears throat> and I have been able to do this now. Um, I have uh, nodeappcompany.com and I'm actually running this Node server. Um, I'm actually running Node on this domain. Um, I just put hello world right there as you can see. So let me show you how I did this. So I had a a little gist um, right here. Um, and you can get this gist uh, from github.com, um, uh, Stajos, um, and 75 slash 754303. Um, and this gist basically gives you the whole little thing. And um, I'm prefacing this because I'm assuming that you all know how to run a dedicated server. If you don't know how to run a data, data curtis, dedicated server, but you're doing Node, you're not going to understand this. So all you have to do is just take one of your IP addresses and stop having Apache listen to that IP address and on port or port 80 and then go ahead and create yourself a node server and run it. So in your web hosting manager to make it even easier, um, basically what you do is you type in um, or you can go to service configuration, not server configuration, service configuration. Click on Apache configuration. Come down here to reserved address editor and then tick on um, reserve so that Apache won't li listen to this. Save it and then it'll automatically restart your server and all that. And then what you can do is I have my command line up, up right here. So I'm going to actually stop this. So let me stop the process, stop the server. So I have the server stopped. So if I come over to my domain, to my actual domain, as you can see, nothing is showing. Know that company.com. And as you can see, Apache is not listening to it, which is good. Because um, if I, I have another um, domain called you, you know that.com. And I don't think that's, oh, it's still working. Yeah, see, that's not even working either. So these two sir, these two domains are listening to Node.js. So now if I come back here and I ls into my directory, I have app.js and I have a CGI bin. So I'm going to go nano app.js. And I'm going to change that hello world to hello um, world. Uh, let's see here. Hello world. And then I'm going to go. I'm going to put in a break tag here. Break slash from node app company. And so, as you can see, I um, required my HTTP module. I created a server, um, and I used the create server method, and I used the request and the response method. And I wanted to make sure I sent a, a status code, and I wanted the content type to be HTML. And then at the end, I'm going ahead and I'm printing out some HTML to the browser, and then. Um, going ahead and instantiating my server to listen to port 80 on this IP address, which is, you know, with this IP address, I can put as many domains as I want. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then all I'm going to do is go node app.js. Then I'll refresh the page. Boom. 
Hello World from Node App Company. And it's that simple. Um, now, if you don't know how to install Node on your server and all that, um, this is not what this video is about. You should know how to do that. Um, I'm using actually NVM to run Node on my machine. Um, so, um, so I can run different Node versions based on the domain or even based on the directory that I'm in. So I'm just letting you know um, this is possible. You do have to have a modern go and this is on a GoDaddy server, um, a GoDaddy dedicated server. I'm not shared hosting. I own a own a dedicated server um, that's been maintained by GoDaddy, um, and it's in OS. Uh, but of course, you can run it on Ubuntu or any other any other dedicated machine. Um, and as long as you understand how to do do that, don't go and do the CGI stuff and all that. This is the best way. And of course, you can run Node as a service using stuff like Forever or your own custom uh, Bash scripts um, to daemons and all that to run it. But I just wanted to give you this brief video to show you. And you can check back on Node App Company as I'm building more apps. And I'm going to be able to I'm going to love this because I can build more apps on 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 this particular IP and um, and I have my PHP on another IP all my WordPress and Drupal and all those other applications and Ruby on another one so um, just wanted to give you this quick video on running node on a domain as you can see you don't have to go out and if you're if you have if you've paid the money to buy a dedicated server you know um, you should not have to have to go out to Heroku and all those other um, cloud services just to run a, a, a node application. So thank you, and um, I hope this was helpful.